guys ready for some fighting? In this, the well, I think 44th episode. So we got, we have Reiko Sludgogo, Forgotten Beast, who I believe was, um, yeah, a feathered scorpion. Now we need to obviously take him out because I don't think we have any other option at this point. Everybody else, I think, needs to, you know, wander off, not be here anymore. And we'll see what happens. And it doesn't look good. Mm. Oh, there we go. And where did he go? Oh, he flew. I see. This is not good. Follow. The problem is, when you have this long to wait, the military will tend to come one by one and have great disadvantage. I wish they were smarter about that sort of thing. Come on, come on! Where are they? They they haven't even shown up yet. I don't see a single one. Oh, oh, here's one. Here, oh, one practically by himself who apparently can't be bothered to uh, come with his, you know, any ammo. I think they did it. Did I lose anybody? He... Ah, oh, crap. As... Okay. Kills. Two trolls and seduce finds. But he's not responsible for this one. Did this just happen to him? Wound. You know, those, those don't look... Permanent. Maybe he will be fine later. Okay, well, that's good. Oh, what the hell? Elven caravan. Cool. I'll deal with that, or at least the setup. Off camera. We are following progress. We, 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 we. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, let's, uh, let's open up some floodgates, eh? Well, not floodgates, but you know, water flow. It occurred to me this may not actually work out all that well. The water source seems to be... Not entirely infinite. Uh oh, Carpenter? Oh yeah, Carpenter would be found dead, wouldn't he? Uh, well, we lost one. Come on, come on, you can do it. Ooh, she's a slow one. At some point, we're gonna have to do what we can to uh, reclaim the, I believe the floors above and below this, well, caverns above and below this one. Okay, so that one there, you see down there in the corner, that was just done. So, water should be flowing now, but here we got one more. Boink. There you go. And water flows. And, okay, these sides are done as well. I hate it when these blocks, you know, I don't know what I'm talking about. When... You want blocks, you don't get them, and when you don't want blocks, you do. That's pretty much how it goes. Here's another one. Alright, let's see. They have a donkey, giant louse, giant grasshopper, giant sparrow, and that appears to be it. Well, they have... No, just the one giant sparrow. I thought... Oh, chipmunk. Do they have a giant chipmunk? That would be awesome. Hmm. I don't know. None of these really do much for me. I suppose I need wine. Probably more than anything. I noticed there is another bordering uh, source of um... really? Where are you going? I was going to say, there's another appears to be another source of water that borders the edge of the map, which might mean infinite. Um, but he's got to find his way down there, apparently, first. How did... You guys were able to get here before. Why is this a problem now? I bet... Uh-oh, why is there a war dog tent? Go through here, that should help. There you go. Oh, look at that, they can see it from both sides. Where was this dog found it? Ugh, I wish you could page up through these. Mm, lots of things. Z. Oh! I see. An alligator. 
What are you doing in the water, fool? Oh no. Ah. Wound. Health. G. Wound. Oh no. Not one of my miners. Trade granite. No. Holy cow, they are very so injured. So is the cave croc, but damn it. Are you still fighting? No. Hopefully that will give the uh, squad some time to get here, but damn it. I mean, I have a lot of miners now, but... Hello? Yeah, I'd just as soon... He's right at the top of the list. Damn it. I wonder if that meant he was one of... Citizen of Smith of Coal, member of the Desert Watch, arrived in the year 107, so 15 years ago. Wow. Oh, man. That sucks. Have they started doing anything down here? They have a little bit. Come on, guys. Take him down. Ah, oh, finally. Now, one thing this does mean is that this well, this... Not that the new stuff is symmetrical, but this highly... Whoa. Highly insymmetrical. Well, can go away. Oh, come on. There we go. No births. Are you damaged too? Oops. Wound. Yeah, you're the same one. So what? I have two. Two guys now uh, injured. Is that it? Rhyolite. Thank you. Actually, what is the floor made of? Diorite. Okay, that's good enough. <clears throat> Here, here's the uh, little connector. I'd mentioned before this little nugget of uh, water over here really ought to help. <clears throat> if you know, assuming that it is after all infinite, it really ought to help shore up the fact that this one here is not. I'm not sure. I do think it is infinite on this side. I think it may just be a slow, slow to recharge. But still, look at that. I mean, I've, I've got a functional couple of wells now, so that's all good. Kel blush tomb. Are you a vampire? No, you're not. Okay, so I got some migrants. I'm surprised I'm still getting them, though. 203 citizens and I'm getting migrants, so that's not supposed to be possible, is it? I don't care about crossbow making, and I don't want you to haul. How about, in your spare time, you help with... Hmm... Glass making. <sighs> okay. I don't suppose the child's a vampire, probably not. Anybody else? Yeah, another child. Dia. Spoken in true main fashion. And freaking traitors who are not actually migrants. I don't know why that has started happening. I have I never used to see that happen, but now it's like every time there's at least one. <sighs> Anyways, if people in the background could not chortle at me while I begin again, this will be the fifth attempt to record. The segment wherein I talk about the fact that this past week has been full of really mind-bending training as at work because our previous director of technology is moving on and I am taking up the slack as interim techno technology director. You know that you know aside from the exhaustion from all that there is one other thing that comes of it, and that's the fact that we are in need of a Drupal developer. PHP, Drupal, uh, we de definitely need someone who has some experience with Drupal and is comfortable enough with it to dive into its innards and do work there. I'm not just talking about let's install Drupal or download and install Drupal would make a new theme and, you know, basically what I am capable of doing with Drupal. <laughs> My own novel uh, website is done up that way, and it's to be able to use its features. Hello, menacing one humped camel bone spike. You know, that may actually have some use. Let's take a look at that real briefly. 43,000, so if the spike ever breaks, we're screwed. This is a menacing one humped cam bone, camel bone spike. All craft worship is meh, as usual. Encrusted with cushion rhyolite cabochons, studded with iron, and circled with bands of one hump camel bone and oval basalt cabochon. Spike menaces with spikes on the spike of bronze, tower cap, and iron on the item is an image of an armadillo. How does that work? Is it like a really tiny image? Or is it a very thick spike? 
or is it like a somewhat like flat spike where you can have engravings on one side? Well, you know what I mean. Doesn't matter. That should be useful at some point. Maybe another weapon trap out front or something. So yeah, Drupal position. We need one. We need a Drupal person. PHP. Um, there are definite. Uh, it would be a huge plus. Let's see if I can try to do multitasking here. Huge plus if this person could also be conversant in Perl and Python, uh, MySQL, you know, relational databases, Mongo, um, full stack missing. Don't be missing. Where are you missing to? What happened? Oh, what? Okay, sorry. Yeah, lots of lots of little pluses for us if you can do these things because that's what I do. And while I'll still be doing it, no glass windows. Um, I won't have quite as much time to do it. So if you could pick up that slack, that would also be uh, worth. You know that whole section in in the job posting where it says uh, pay commensurate with uh, experience. Uh, the organization itself, we're a non-profit, which unfortunately means there will be people out there who could pay more for the same job. I don't know that they're looking, but prob odds are there's somebody who's looking who will pay more. But we'll pay pretty well. And on, t on top of that, the organization is a tad controversial because we deal with Congress and a t getting people to contact Congress on behalf of the topic of slowing immigration down to levels that are healthy for the country um, and that is obviously a topic of great debate because most anybody who's actually talking about it is super polarized they're either, either open borders which you know is a nice ideal that we're not quite ready yet for yet as a world though it'd be nice um, that's my personal perspective um, and people who are just naturally afraid of anybody who's not them and want them all kicked out and all that stuff. And we're neither. We don't. We're not either of those spectrums. But people will certainly place us there if they find it is convenient for their particular agenda. So, of course, naturally, lots and lots of controversy. So, you'll have to... If you were to apply for such a position, be comfortable with that, or at least not afraid of it. Uh, let's see, more obsidian. How about over here? I still haven't actually found a stone that I like. I mean, I don't want to. I don't necessarily want to do cobaltite again. Plus, I don't have enough, as you can see. I want something that's different. I would like green, but there is no green stone at this location. I'm almost tempted to use the, these black bronze bars. That will make it quite, quite the, um, I wish I could sort out through this. I don't know that I'm going to have enough, so then I'm going to have to experiment. Maybe what I should do is only use some black bronze, like in the corners or in the cardinal directions here. Anyway, yeah, that's the posting. We, it'll be full time. It does need to be in... Hello. I could have sworn Black Bronze was up here. We we need people. We need the, this person to be on site, which means either living in or being or willing to move to the DC area. And let's see what else. But uh, but beyond that, um, all the standard uh, benefits. Health and Dental, 403B, which is the non-private version of the 401k retirement. Federal holidays, sick and vacation time. Uh, if you use the metro or park in the building, um, we reimburse most of that. I think um, we can't, well, we reimburse up to what the feds reimburse, which is like 120 month, a month, something like that. But, you know, all these little benefits. <sighs> I think that's about it, really. I don't really expect anybody listening here is going to either necessarily fit the bill or want to deal with this particular opportunity, but it does exist, and while I'm exploring various avenues, come on, to satisfy this need, I thought there was no harm in mentioning it here. Oh, look, a troll. I think I already got an administrator. Uh, the administrator seems to have been in title only and not actually a working administrator, but 
No, 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 no. Don't take out my guy. I don't really trust any of my military. Even the experts are probably not very good. I can't tell what's going on. I can't tell what's going on. All I know for sure... Is that it? That looks like it was it. Yeah, alright. Not bad. One guy against a troll. This is a stack of 17 exceptional prepared forgotten beast tallow stew. Shrubby stews. The ingredients are superiorly minced quarry bush leaves, exceptionally minced forgotten beast tallow, and exceptionally minced forgotten beast tallow. Oh, good. Finally, ooh, in fact, even enough windows actually to finish the job. Let's see it a moment. Oh, I need to make a lot more than that. <clears throat> Let's see how this is going. Oh, looks like they're nearly. I nearly filled those in. I thought, actually, let me. No, that's not gonna work. Oh, but you know what will work? Let's put some of this down. <clears throat> so, as you can see, gold being used now as a floor. Though I actually ran a bit low. Not that there's any deficit of gold to be found in the rock layers below, but still, I haven't actually made enough. I mean, I've made enough for this, but I'm not going to be able to use it much further. I have a temptation to make these, this floor, the topmost. I mean, you know, I'll have some roofing up here, obviously, but uh, that's a temptation at this point. Actually, that means I can clean this junk out right here now that the catch-all but behind it, or beneath it, is in place. And just like that, I'm under siege. I guess it was too good to last. Let's get everybody indoors. I don't know that anybody's not indoors. Probably, I don't, people don't really have much call to go outside these days. I am, of course, quite interested in creating some uh, hot mayhem here. It all depends, I suppose. Do we have any... The traitor. Oh, the traitors who I have no control over. That's right. Sorry, traitors. It's your own damn fault for not joining my civilization and standing around outside like meatheads. <laughs> Come on. Not sure how, uh, how long I should wait. I don't know. There are traps here. I'm not sure I want them to be able to just get through. Hmm. Then again, this could serve as an opportunity to clean out some of that junk. But then again, what do we got here? I don't know, the black bronze is uh, magma safe, but I suppose it's no huge loss. I've got so much. I've yet to see any... Oh, there are trolls, but where are they? Hmm. Well, I'm not going to be able to wait for much longer than it takes for them to arrive, which is pretty soon, actually, come to think of it. Oh, jeez. Uh, this probably means most of the people upstairs have been turned off their jobs. I've given a few of the new um, peasants, the ones who've been growing up lately, which is sort of a new phenomenon for me, since I usually don't play forts this long. <laughs> um, Uh-oh, here we go. Can't wait any longer. Dudes, pull. I actually close that one up, come to think of it. Oh, I wonder if copper doors will melt. I bet they might. That's what I've got going on down here, isn't it? Copper doors. Ooh, look, who's out there where they could potentially be magmatized. <laughs> Sounds awful. Come on, really? What's taking so long? Before they break the grate? Please? Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> oh, look at that. One got in. I suppose I ought to close this off after all. And it's sort of done. How many have we got left? Lots of trolls. 
Troll Cook. Interesting. Uh, Hammer Man, Pike Man's. Hammer Lord. One Burning. Swordman. Sword Goblin. Spearmaster. Tearsoul. Pralpha. Still many traitors. Oh, being chased. I see. Sorry, traitor. I thought I'd let the magma clean out the area here. I'm just checking to make sure. Basalt, Cabro, Basalt, Green Glass. I think all of this stuff will survive. What I'm not sure about is the Copper Door. I don't think that can. But perhaps as long as I don't let too much of it get in. And I'm not sure much more can get in, come to think of it. I think it has busted out. Oh no! The uh, the trade depot is still there. That's just that's interesting. I thought it would have busted. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Speak too soon, Bismuth. Cool. Let's see how much. I'd really like to. I'm using it for cleaning purposes, really. I don't think it's in any particular danger of melting the doors. Pretty slow. Well, I still got lots of those guys out there. Oh, troll glassmaker? What does that mean? They also get trapped. I've been putting in some uh, bedrooms. I think I'll set these up. I'm not sure about entryways on these things. But I have put them in because I had made these rooms and they're kind of nice rooms. At this point, only children are likely to use them, but that's okay. I thought I ought to finish off the episode. Ooh, good choice, Obsidian Slap. Uh, with an engraving for the vampire, who, yes, did step into lava, yes, literally a second or so after I stopped recording that particular clip. Sorry, I you probably would have wanted to have seen him step straight into magma, but we both missed it. So, at the very least, we can see what our slab has to say about him, assuming he gets done anytime soon. And there it is. Let's see. This is a superior quality obsidian memorial to Vampire Dumatalin, which is actually an interesting name. The slab reads in memory of Vampire Dumatalin went missing in the year 122 or moments ago. Mayor of the Desert Watch 112 to 113. Slayer of Sibrek safety knives. Loving father and husband. Lover of porcelain. So no particular comment on the whole vampire thing, huh? Oh well. Oh well. Let's uh take a brief look see up upon the uh that's not so bad, you know. The uh, put glass project in here is coming along, though. I am having some difficulty. One of one, zero of one. That's fine. I'm putting in the glass, putting in the floors. The floors are looking close to done. Hmm. Not sure what else to do with it, though. Meanwhile, there's still that siege. Anyway, so uh, sorry. Yet I'm mostly boring episode. I actually thought I actually thought I might do a format change and start another series where I will just do sporadic recording for this and actually just keep it going for as long as possible rather than intentionally getting all these dwarves killed. Uh, do one episode per year. It's just could be boring. It's more like a diary. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's an idea. That might also then free me up to start another series using newer material, uh, newer versions, some of my own, and some of Caffeine's content um, that is not in this version or the new version, perhaps? I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. We'll figure it out. In the meantime, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, have a good one, and come again next time, please. Thank you. Thank you.